Large language models, or LLMs, are undeniably impressive. They have the capacity to help us in a multitude of ways, from answering our everyday questions, helping us code, to even becoming a personal tutor, helping us learn whatever we want. It makes everything more accessible. However, these models are generalists and not specialists. GPT-4 is not optimized to be your up-to-date financial advisor or medicine expert. It needs help. In this video, you will learn the best technique to make your LLM an expert in the field using just a CPU. Thanks to fine-tuning, you can sculpt these models to reach top-tier performance, especially in applications with concrete, well-defined tasks where it is possible to collect a lot of data, like medical books or analyzing the stock market and financial news. Fine-tuning is often better than its alternatives, like retrieval augmented generations coupled with few-shot prompting, where you augment the LLM directly with specific documentation. Fine-tuning allows for domain-specific expertise by incorporating targeted data into the model and optimizing it for specialized tasks. And the improvement coming from fine-tuning is even better for small models that are easier to run and deploy. And it's much more accessible than retraining a model from scratch. Small models struggle with in-context learning, making them suboptimal candidates for prompt engineering. But depending on the difficulty of the task, it may be possible to still fine-tune them into decent experts. Now, let's see how to fine-tune an LLM with a practical example. If you want to follow along, there is an example notebook which you can access in our free course and in the description of the video, which I highly recommend. Here, our goal is to create a thoroughly tuned model for conducting sentiment analysis on financial statements. The LLM would assess financial tweets by categorizing them as positive, negative, or neutral. Then, you can leverage such a bot by scanning all tweets that exist and understanding the overall feeling of the market almost in real time to better invest your money. If Twitter is being pretty negative towards a specific stock like Tesla, you can look more into it and make a more informed decision thanks to this notification. For example, if you know that Tesla is doing well but the feeling is overall negative, it might sell lower and it will be a good time for buying more stocks. This is somewhat simplified, but it's basically how day traders leverage AI to improve their returns. First, we need to import and load a dataset. We can use the dataset created in the Fin GPT project, which I also linked in the description below. It's basically a bunch of tweets about financial news and a sentiment analysis label attached. So a negative, neutral, or positive string. To load the dataset, we use the Deep Lake library, which allows us to very efficiently stream the data from the remote storage hub into our computer to train the LLM without downloading the entire dataset on your computer. We use the Deep Lake load function to create the dataset objects and load the training and validation samples. Next, we define the function that will read the dataset and create the training prompts that will be used as inputs for the LLM. This is what a formatted output will now look like, where you would replace the content section and ask to fill in the sentiment section. Here, we initialize the tokenizer for our model. It will take our words and transform them into tokens that we can then feed into our model. In this tutorial, we fine-tune the smallish open source OPT 1.3b large language model, which is a big enough size for the task at hand. The tokenizer we initiate is the same one used during the pre-training of the same model. Then, we use the constant length dataset class to structure the training samples. This class comes with the TRL hugging face library. Once instantiated, the object will automatically pack multiple training samples until the sequence length threshold is reached, thus enhancing the efficiency of the training process. In this specific case, we chose a sequence length of about 1024 tokens for the fine-tuning process, but we could go up to 2028 tokens for the 1.3b model. Then we create our train and evaluation dataset objects. Now we define the arguments necessary to configure the LoRa training process and the overall training hyperparameters. LoRa is a compact set of parameters referred to as low rank matrices to store the necessary changes in the model rather than altering all parameters. This fine tuning strategy decreases memory and computational demands, making the fine tuning process quicker and more efficient. Leticia from AI Coffee Break also made an amazing video explaining how LoRa works. 
To use LoRa, we create a LoRa config object from the PEFT library. Another powerful library from Hugging Face, regrouping lots of methods for fine-tuning language models. Here we chose a rank value, or R, of 16, which is the dimensionality of the low rank matrices and the most important parameter you can change. A higher value will help learning more complex patterns as we have more parameters to train. It can be considered a hyperparameter, so feel free to experiment with different values when you are fine-tuning your own models. We will also use the Training Arguments class from the Transformers library to control the training loop and set the other hyperparameters for our training. There's a lot of information in a few frames. But keep in mind that all this practical example is in our free course linked below with a clear notebook and everything you need to execute it. So don't stress out understanding each and every line and follow along to get the overall idea of what needs to be done here. Then you will be able to dive into the code directly. Once the training hyperparameters are defined, the next step involves downloading and loading the OPT 1.3b model in the bfloat16 format. We use this format to prioritize range over precision. Range determines the span of numbers that can be represented from the smallest to the largest. Precision defines how accurately numbers can be represented, particularly in terms of the detail of fractional values. The reduced precision ends up accelerating deep learning training and inference. And since AI models are approximation machines, the reduced precision is totally acceptable here. Next, we cast some network's layers to 32-bit precision. Doing this will help to maintain a stable training process by avoiding vanishing gradients. Vanishing gradients is the case where the value of the parameters we are trying to train becomes too small and hurts the training. Think of dividing by zero. Now, we can put everything together. The loaded model, dataset, chosen hyperparameters, and LoRa configuration. We do that by using the SFT trainer class here. To start a training process, we can simply call the train method of the trainer object we see here below. You can access and use the best checkpoint that was trained for this example by following the link provided in the course. Before evaluating the train model and observing the results, a final step is to load the train LoRa adapters from the previous stage and merge them with the base model. AutoModel from Causal ML pre-trained loads the base model. PFT model from pre-trained loads the LoRa trained adapters. And we finally use model.merge and unload to merge the adapters to the base model. We can now test the train model with a random unseen tweet and see the results. Here, it's very important to use the same tokenizer that we send our input to. The code is very straightforward when utilizing the generate method from the transformers library. Basically, you just give it your inputs and all of the model's parameters. I discuss all these other parameters on another video about optimizing LLM's outputs. And voila! You have fine-tuned an LLM to become a powerful financial statements sentiment analyzer that can process infinite tweets. You can now adapt this example with your own model and any accessible dataset or curated data from your organization to develop a fine-tuned model that caters to your specific needs. As I mentioned earlier, the code and more details are available in our new free course on fine-tuning LLMs that we built in collaboration with Towards AI, ActiveLoop, and the Intel Disruptor Initiative. The course is perfect for anyone working with or wanting to learn how to work with large language models, and it's completely free. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to check out our free course for in-depth content and hands-on exercises. We will continue exploring AI techniques in future videos. Stay tuned.